live for the Wiregrass. This is WDHN News at 5. Good evening, I'm Amanda Arnold. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, a fired civilian worker at Fort Novacell is in the Coffee County Jail, accused of threatening violence toward people at the Army base. WDHN's Mike Grispan joins us live in the newsroom now with details on the arrest of Andrew Grisak. Mike? Well, Amanda, last night, Enterprise Police working with Fort Novacell authorities and arresting the 25-year-old suspect who reportedly made the threat to the base at a residence in Enterprise. Enterprise Police Captain Billy Haglin says Grease Sox sent an email to Fort Novacell claiming he was going to shoot and kill everyone in one of the offices of that installation. Captain Haglin says a suspect made the threat after recently being fired from his job there as a subcontractor. Now on his Facebook page, Grease Sox displays pictures of himself wearing animal outfits in many social circles, he would be described as a furry. Yesterday, um, our investigations office was notified that um, uh, an individual from Enterprise, Enterprise um, sent an email to an unknown office um, on Fort Novacell. And the email was a threatening email. email they made a threat. Um, about a firearm and, and shooting individuals. And Captain Haglin couldn't say why Greesock was fired from his job on the post, nor what his responsibilities were there. Tonight, he remains behind bars at the Coffee County Jail with no bond. And Amanda Captain Haglin says Enterprise investigators continue to work with Fort Novacell on the case. In this day and time, all threats are taken very seriously. That's especially the case when it involves a military installation. Back to you, Amanda. All right. Yes, indeed, Mike. Thank you. 